All right, we got game number two. Both teams are rushing me. Okay, guy, I got to get it set up so you can just chill out on rushing me anyway. Two new teams tonight. Northwest Missouri State heads to Lake Erie. Uh, and the final game of Rivalry Week, we are not going to delay it since both teams are yelling at me. Uh, we are going to head to – I don't even know what – it's going to happen in this Lake Erie interview. I'm scared, but you know what? Actually, we're going to start with the professional one first. We're going to head to Northwest Missouri State. All right, Coach Cappy, Coach Kernsey, first game as Northwest Missouri State. How are we doing tonight as your first game uh, in Season 3? Doing great. Looking forward to, uh, to the new digs and the new unis. And uh, we're going to have a whole new team here. Got some good young talent, and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, what, what's your game plan on offense tonight? No OC for at least the start of the season. Uh, what, 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 you, what game plan do you have going into game one? Um, I think you're going to see pretty similar to what you saw at the end of last season. Uh, won a couple games at the end of last season. Um, playing to win and not, uh, not playing so tight. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take some shots and, uh, we'll do what we do and score some points. Uh, Coach Kaffer returning as a defensive coordinator. Uh, any changes to your defensive scheme from last season or about the same as we should expect? Well, I think uh, with adding in some defensive line help there, I think getting that front seven there is going to be you know fantastic. I know our linebackers have definitely improved. Our D-line has improved. Our DBs are a little short this night, but I think we're going to be A-OK. Um, best base with our two back safety, even our backers are pretty nice. So I think we're going to kind of start off pretty slow on there and just kind of go back to some schemes that we ran last year that worked really well and then uh, try out some new things. I mean, it's week one. Uh, don't really have much since they're also a new team as well, and we'll see just how everything goes tonight. All right, I'm going to head over to Lake Erie. We'll see. I'll see you all at halftime. Good luck in this first half. Thank you, sir. I don't even know how this interview is going to go, but uh, Coach Coach John, (laughs) Coach John, head coach for the first time, office coordinator Jar for the first time, Coach Reed, the athletic director, stepping in as DC. How are we doing tonight? And thoughts going into game number one? Well, uh, I think we got a uh, some good schemes coming up. Uh, We're hoping we can catch them off guard and uh, win ourselves a uh, football game here. All right, Coach Jara, what is your game plan going tonight? Your first game as an office coordinator. Any thoughts about how you're going to play this defense? Uh, probably pass the ball. Maybe run it every now and then. Maybe throw it. Score. Definitely score some points. Maybe kick a field goal if we need to. All right, and then Coach Reed, uh, intern, yes, defense coordinator, athletic director, whatever you want to be called. Uh, what is your game plan on defense tonight? Um, I was talking to Jake. Uh, he said, uh, just get some interceptions, so force some fumbles, play rough and tough, rough them up. Um, got some good pickups in the off season, so we're looking to go stupid on defense. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> I will see y'all at halftime. Good luck in the first half. Appreciate it. All right. Well, um, yeah, yeah, that's about how I expected both those to go. One is definitely more professional than the other. Uh, I think it's a great way to put that. But, um, yeah, number nine versus number eight. We're loading in now. Uh, as you can see, uh, Northwest Missouri State heading to Lake Erie. I'm not calling him his pronouns. <laughs> uh, I will say this. Uh, my food is going to be delivered here in a little bit. So I will have to go run downstairs to grab it. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll leave the stream up, obviously, but I... I'm hungry, so I want my food. So it'll be like maybe two or three minutes. Uh, I have to you'll just hear the game audio. That's about it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, Mason. Um, what's for dinner? Literally, I didn't order Chick Fil A because that's like the easiest thing to order. Um, and I don't have any food here because I'm leaving my dorm tomorrow i'm going home so um no reason to go buy more food i'm just gonna sit here and waste so chick-fil-a is always fine well uh, who's got the ball for northwest missouri state for the first time vince young hands off to the running back who's gonna fight him that's greg cooper gonna fight for seven yards second and three let me tell you guys uh northwest missouri state's roster 
if you guys don't know how bad I messed up the roster, uh, you should probably sit down because, um, so I, so Gage went through and kind of like, you know, edited everyone's year, uh, or at least did last names. So, uh, put X's on last names. I know we're going to graduate as Vince under center again, second and three, it's going to be another handoff to Cooper for a first down to around the 36 yard line. Um, anyway, he put X's on the seniors that were going to graduate. So we know who we had to replace. Well, he forgot to do then North Dakota State's now North Missouri State's roster. So I also went through, progressed everyone's year to what they're supposed to be. And then when I got to North Missouri State in the game to edit, I got very confused as to why they had no exits. So I thought we must have forgot them. So I progressed them again. So I definitely progressed that one accident. Currency got his roster. It's like, what the fuck is this? It, it was just a whole thing. Anyway, we got it fixed. Hand off to Cooper on the left side. That was going nowhere. Loses the yard. Second and 11, but yeah, uh, that's probably like the worst I've messed up editing something in this league. At least most of the time, if something doesn't work, I know what I did. Uh, that, that, that had to be probably the worst. Uh, anyway, we got it to work. We got new teams. Uh, correction. The only reason Pars had to do it is because I was out of town. So, uh, I basically just said Pars, this is your problem. Anyway, Vince Young back to pass. Throws off balance. Incomplete drops. Uh, 0 for 1 night for Vince Young. And it's 3rd and 11 already. Yeah. kind of. It was really bad timing, too. I, I had just gotten home. I get a message from Pars. Where I checked, he messaged me when I was driving. And I checked it. And he said, what the fuck did you do to Kernsey's roster? I thought he was joking. <laughs> and he was not. <laughs> it was bad. I saw I had to redo it like on my brother's PC the next day. It was pretty funny. Anyway. Third and eleven, Vince Young back to pass. Looking, hit, triple sacked, loses six yards. And just like that, Lakers getting the ball back. Oh, I need to turn Reed's cam on. So we can see his little face. There he is. There's Reed hiding in the this corner of his camera. Coach Jar going to get his first opportunity to call some plays tonight. Uh, his first ever, I know he's, I think he's played in coach mode tournament. But he's never played in like actual coach mode. God, I'm going to get these teams mixed up tonight so bad. They're both green. Uh, Mason, you pointed that earlier. They're both green. What were they doing on the field? Uh, this is RFL after dark, ladies and gentlemen. So, um... This is this is gonna be bad. I this is, I'm not gonna be able to. That's a, if he runs four birds every time, bro, I swear. My eight order has been picked up. Let's go. Should be here in like ten minutes. What the? Oh my! Danny and Thompson loses three yards. That's the same play that Montana has been trying to run, and it doesn't work. But in second or thirteen. Whoever that corner was for uh, Northwest Missouri State. Probably should not play anymore. Anyway, second or 13 for Lake Erie now, losing three yards on that play uh, overall. Coach Jara with his uh, first time, first call, and he loses three. Uh, hand out to Tomlinson up the middle. Tomlinson gets seven yards. It said six, but it's third and six now. F wow. Average UCO corner. Court, you're my DC, bro. <laughs> you can't be saying that's. It might be true. What? Reed? Bro, <laughs> I can't even see Reed. Hi, Bucky. How are you doing? How is Oregon State? How's Oregon State? Anyway, five wide for Lake Erie on third and six. Man in motion behind the quarterback. Back to pass. I don't know his name. Fires. Caught first down. Marcus Ionidis is 12. God, I hate saying that name. I don't know how to pronounce it. Joey Sorrell gets his second completion of the night. He's a pocket pass, a freshman. Uh, and he's back to pass fire. <laughs> Makes it the quarterback legit. And he just threw it. Uh, he just threw it off the lineman's head. Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh, that was a great time. Anyway, second and 10 for Lake Erie. Um... Justin Fields, bro. 
Yeah, you're not wrong there. Did I change? I don't think I changed what I needed to change for this, did I? I did, actually. Uh, Tomlinson with the carry, and he gets three yards, third and seven once again for... Listen, I'm telling you, whenever MT3s are available, he's obviously registering this year, but next season for UCO, two QB system, we're having, we're going to have some triple option, and it's going to be OP. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. I've practiced with it, watched practice with it. It's going to be fun. Third and seven, though, for Lake Erie. Hand off to Thompson left side, trying to get the edge, and he will not. He'll actually lose a couple yards or get back to the scrimmage. Is he really? Well. I don't understand. MT3 can't throw, so we're gonna. Well, we, I mean, so we, that means if we run MT3, we're not worried about him getting hurt because uh, it doesn't matter if he passes. It's not gonna go anywhere. Um. Anyway, fourth and seven. Punt is away for Lake Erie, and it will be into the end zone for a touchback. We're already five minutes into this first quarter. This game's gone a lot quicker than um. Uh, the other one, Montana Yukon. Yukon's already up 14 nothing at this point. Um, that is what Reed looks like. <laughs> oh, anyways, first and 10 for uh, Northwest Missouri State. Now handoff to Cooper. Cooper up the middle and gets six yards. Second and four. Second and four from the um, from the twenty six handout to Cooper only gets a yard third and three. Third and three from the 27. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Listen, I'm track. My food's almost here. Sue me. Cooper handoff first down. Oh, no. I think it's coming back. There's a flag. It is going to be clipping. And he's going to lose 15. But he's, does he? Oh, it's going to be third and 14 now. Bucky, sue me. Okay. What I get to eat, Chick fil A. It's easy and simple, so I just ordered it. I have no food in my door right now, so. Um, yeah, it's going to get here in uh, two minutes. So I'll have to run downstairs and grab it real quick once it gets here. Third and 14 uh, for Northwest Missouri State at their own 19 or 21. Vince Young back to pass, looking, looking, going to launch it down the field. It's going to be intercepted at the 41. Had a man behind the defense, just could not get it there. Breaks the tackle, breaks another one. Pass midfield, 45-40, 35-30, tackled at the 30-yard line. Damn. We're going to say L for real. Bucky, did that thing work, or uh, did you just give up? Probably shambles. Uh, yes, score, you are correct. There have been days like I'm going to order Chick-fil-A for lunch and it's Sunday and I realize, well, shit, I can't order Chick-fil-A. It didn't work. Damn. Rip Bucky in the gridiron. Rip half the league, actually. So it doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, first and 10 for Lake Ear from the 31. Five wide. Play action pass. Lake Erie fires. Hit as he throws it. Caught. Daly and Tomlinson. Diving catch. First down for Lake Erie. Like, that's that's true. First and ten for Lake Erie. It's gonna be a handoff to Tomlinson. Tomlinson tries to get outside. He only gets a yard. Actually loses a yard. Second and eleven. Uh, for Lake Erie. <laughs> you went to your frat. That's valid. 
Mark, he's going to pull up to his frat house every time he's got to play, um, um, the Great Iron Games. <laughs> From the 17. Uh, Joey back to pass fires on a screen and it's gonna be a um, uh, Loss of a two more yards for Lake Erie third and 13 <laughs> All right, after, okay the foods here boys. I'll be right back. Uh, I shouldn't be that long uh, but I'm gonna go grab my food Hello guys, I know Gerald's gone, but I'm in my dorm right now. You know, I feel like I need to break the silence, you know. There's not a lot going on in this game. I can't exactly commentate it, but I love you guys. I'm going to sit in here until Jalen gets back. So how, how are y'all doing today? Uh, I just want to know. What's, what's going on? What's going on with the RFL right now? Bucky W. <laughs> we love you, Bucky. <laughs> Hello, Chalupa. Why can't you commentate? I don't know, dude. I, I'm just sitting in here because I, I got to go bowling in a second. They didn't ask me either. To be fair, I said I wanted to, but no one responded to me. So I guess they don't want me to commentate. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm watching the Stars game at the same time as this. What are you saying, Mason? Hey, Pars. I, I can't commentate. I, I'm just in here. <laughs> Gerald's going to get food, Pars. I'm just, I'm just having a good time. Do I consider shutting down the program? No. I'm not drunk. Come on, Mason. That's some tomfoolery. I, 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 would you rather this or silence, Pars? I think this is more entertaining. Oh. Hey, Gerald. Okay, bye, guys.
Elevators took forever, bro. Fucking forever. Where the hell's my headset? There it is. My God, <laughs> sitting there for five minutes waiting for one. All right. Anyway, looks like Lakeri got a field goal. They get the ball back. I'm guessing. I don't know. Fucking dorm ass building sucks. Anyways, Joey back to pass, looking down the field. On second, they're going to launch it left side out of bounds. Did Bucky come in here? Did he really? That's awesome if he did. <laughs> Alright, third and eight, four. Um... Lake Erie, Surreal. So rolling out. It'll dot him up across uh, the 47 yard line. Um, first and 10 for Lake Erie. Hand off to Tomlinson. Hitting the backfield and loses a yard. And the alien Tomlinson uh, could not get away from Daquan Moore there. And it's second in his second tackle for the loss of the night. Oh, yeah, I know. What'd you say about me, Bucky? I'm gonna go watch the VOD back. What'd you say about me? Oh, okay. That's, that's fair. That's valid. Anyway. Bro, <laughs> I don't know, Mason. I know his attributes are not, like, they're not higher than Gunty's, I can tell you that. Fires caught first down. Uh, Marcus Ionadonis gets 12 yards, first and 10. Bucky's drunk, 100%. Under A's drinking. And off to the stadium, Tomlinson gets four yards. <laughs> what does the Thursday have to do with that, Bucky? I don't, don't act like just because it's a Thursday it has any difference. Second and six, man in motion, handoff, Tomlinson, hit, oh, folded backwards, third and six now for Lake Erie, as we have two minutes to go here in the first half. Because Wad and I are washed for. Third and six for uh, Lake Erie now. Joey back to pass fires over the middle of Thompson. First down and a little bit more gets 11 yards. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. First and 10 from the 27. Joey back to pass the screen. Gets it off. Tomlinson to the 30 yard line. Still loses yards. Second and 12.
tenth play of this drive. Second and 12 from the 30 yard line. Joey's back to pass, fires the middle, caught first down more, 15 to the 10, to the five, out of bounds in the three yard line. Marcus I notice, gets to the 27 yards. First and goal from the three yard line. Hand off to the running back. I have absolutely no idea where that name came from. <laughs> what was that name? The backup quarterback's in for um, uh, Lake Erie. QB power touchdown. Camden Mayo. From three yards out, and they're taking a two possession lead going into or with a minute to go in the second. Sorry. First and ten. Uh, kick goes through the end zone uh, with a minute four seconds to go. Hi, Blake. First and ten. Collection pass, Vince Young fires to the running back. Cooper turns up the field, gets out of bounds three yards. Second and seven. Vince Young play action fires, caught first down to the 40 yard line, out of bounds for 10 yards. First and 10 for Northwest Missouri State. Vince Young rolling out, looking down the field. Going to get sacked. Didn't even get a throw off. Trying to take off and loses five yards. Second and 15 now for the Bearcats. Vince Young back to pass. Looking, looking. Going to try to take off and run again. Sacked again. Loses another yard. Timeout Bearcats. Third and 16 from their own 31. Vince Young back to pass fires. Going to be intercepted on the 40 yard line. And this might be a pick six 25 20. Vince Young trying to chase him down. Tackler at the 14 yard line. Lake Year with a chance to go up three scores here before half. From the 14. Joey, QB power, stopped, loses two, timeout Lake Erie, 23 seconds left to go. Quick 
Quick slant, caught for three yards. T timeout again by Lake Erie. 20 seconds left to go. Third and nine, five wide for the uh, Storm. Lake Erie back to pass. Looking, going to get sacked, loses seven yards. Timeout, Lake Erie, they're going to kick a field goal with 14 seconds left. Kick is up, kick is good. 13 nothing to our score with 11 seconds to go in the second quarter. Return from the goal line to around the 23. Seven seconds to go here in the first half. Lake Erie's up 13-0. Hand off to Cooper for nine yards. Timeout. Northwest Missouri State, three seconds left, second and one for the Bearcats. Vince Young back to pass, going to launch it down the field. Has a man that intercepts at the 21-yard line. And three turnovers for Northwest Missouri State in the first half. Only down two scores, though. We're going to head to the Bearcats and see what their uh, game plan is going in the second half. Roll all night. Defense has been, despite giving up 13 points, we're playing pretty solid. So, Coach Kurdzi, yep. Coach Cappy, down 13, three turnovers. Uh, thoughts on the first half and uh, what are you going to do to change the course in the second half? Same story, different year, man. Uh, quarterback sucks. Um, we're just going to have to keep uh, figuring it out, keep working, keep working him. Uh, we don't have another option there, so he's it. He's going to have to figure it out. Coach Cappy, defense has given up, you know, two field goals and a touchdown. Any changes to your defensive game plan going in into the second half? Um, we just need to get in the quarterback's face a little bit. Um, he's sitting a long time in the pocket, and he's making some really nice throws. So, um, But, you know, I feel like we're getting in the backfield at times. Um, their screen game seems – they seem to try to keep running it, but it's not there. Uh, they're getting some decent spots off the edge, but we're going to go ahead and get a good rally on there for the TFLs. Um, D-Line just got the work there on the pass game. We only got one sack for the first half, and I feel like we just need to get in there a lot more because he's getting way too comfortable. So – um, I think our coverages are doing pretty well. We just got to not give up the deep ball and get in on the quarterback. All right. Well, I'm going to head over to Lake Erie. Uh, I'll see you at the end of the game. Good luck in the second half. Thanks, sir. That's all you said. Surreal or something. Show Surreal. Me. No. Lake Erie, Show Coach me. John. <laughs> <laughs> Up 13 at the half. Uh, Coach John, thoughts on the first half? Uh, it was a solid first half. We Offensively, um, you know, we're getting stumped every now and then, but defense has just come up clutch, man. Uh, I absolutely love what Reed is calling right now, um, and we're playing a good game right now. Coach Jara, 13 points for your offense in your first outing. Uh, any changes going to the second half of your offense? Uh, nothing in mind. I mean, we're liking the looks that we're getting from the O. Not loving the missed blocks from the O-line, but it's okay. It's the first game of Juju, so everyone's got to work out what they got to work out, but... I mean, 13 points isn't too bad. Wish the field goals were touchdowns, but now everything's going to be looking the same so far in the second half. And then, you know, Coach Reed, you know, your first game in the RFCL, probably one you weren't expecting to be in. Thoughts on your defense performance in the first half? Any changes going in the second half? Um, Probably just going to be running probably the basic of what we're running right now. Uh, Four straight turnovers. Um, last one was kind of a goofy one, but 
uh, you know, we're looking solid. We're just going to keep the shutout going. And, yeah. All right. Well, go Storm. Uh, I'm going to head back to the booth. I'll see you all after the end of the game. Good luck in the second half. All right. Thank Maybe. you. Thank you. You too. Lake Erie gets the ball to begin the second half. Up 13. Could make it a three score game here uh, as the kickoff is away from the 35 yard line. And we'll be needing the end zone uh, for to the 25 yard line. First and ten for. Uh, Lake here at 25 yard line. Joe is Harrell. Having a nice game so far through the air. Can he keep it up in the second half? Can Northwest Missouri State get some pressure on him? Handoff Tomlinson. Missed uh, missed tackle and it gets eight yards, second and two for the storm. Second and two for Lake Erie, or yeah, for Lake Erie at the 32. And now Tomlinson cuts up first down, three yards, extends the drive, or extends the chains there. and 10. Joey back to pass on the screen. Fired. Has Thompson there. Has blockers. But only gets around four yards. Second and six now for the storm. Second and six from the 40-yard line. Joey on a QB power gets outside, gets a block to the 50. Tackle, for, or that's Camden May of 14 yards. First and 10 at the 46-yard um, line. Keeper by Camden this time. Who gets three yards, second and seven now for Lake Erie. Second and seven hand. Now Tom was in nowhere to go. Blown up in the backfield. Loses four yards immediately. Soggy Waffles gets the tackle for a loss. And now it's third and 11. Third and 11. Joey back to pass. Goes on the run. Incomplete. Northwest Missouri, Northwest Missouri State going to get off the field and have a chance to cut in his lead. Fourth and 11. Kick is away. North Missouri State was going for the block and it's going to be going into the end zone to the 20 yard line. Right 
First and ten for the Bearcats. Down 13. Needing something to go right uh, on offense. Needing 80 yards for a touchdown. First and ten. Nine seconds on the play clock. First and ten. Handoff to Cooper. Cooper watches away for five yards. Second and five now for the Bearcats. Second and five. Hand off to Cooper. Cooper gets outside, gets a block on the edge. First down for the Bearcats. Greg Cooper gets six yards. Off Cooper once again up the middle. Second and six now for Northwest Missouri State. Uh, they are finding success, but you know, can they sustain that over this drive? Um, that's just something they have not been able to do throughout the first half. And clock is winding down. You only have ten minutes of game time left. Anderson in motion. Vincent back to pass. Fires. Has a man. Toe tap. First down. Anthony Quinn. 14 yards. Probably Vince Young's best pass of the night. And it's first and 10. Northwest Missouri State. Sir, I am watching West Virginia Houston. Uh, I am not watching that NFL game. Actually, I have multi-view of West Virginia Houston and SMU East Carolina. So... First and 10 from the 49 yard line. Vincent under center, giving audibles. Handoff. Greg Cooper up the middle, fights his way for four yards. Oh, you have, you have all of them on my seat. Second and six for uh, the Bearcats. Second and six, handoff Cooper up the middle, gets only two yards, third and four for the Bearcats. Minute 50 to go. Third and four for the uh, uh, Bearcats here. Being done giving audibles. He's going to hand it off to Cooper, who's going to get only a yard. Fourth and three. I think they're going to go for it here. Kind of have to. Fourth and three. For the Bearcats. I don't know what's taking so long, Mason. Play action pass, Vince Young looking, fires, down a man, has a man's incomplete, overthrown. He had a man. He had a man on a post round, it's incomplete. Laker gets the ball back with 30 seconds left to go in the third quarter.
Core, have you tried turning the volume up? Oh, I gotcha. First 10, Joey back to pass. Looking in a fire, caught first down on the check down. Already passed midfield of the 45, JoJo Orlis uh, with the first down. Remember when we, when we laughed at Reed uh, when he said Joey for Heisman? Remember when we laughed at him? <laughs> um... First and 10, 20 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Lake Erie on its way for its second ever win. Wide receiver screen goes nowhere, loses a yard. Bill up Montgomery with a one yard loss. Second and 11. No, West Virginia scored. They're going for two with three minutes to go. Will Dana Horson choke? Probably. Uh, Lake Erie can take a 13 point lead into the, the fourth quarter. And it's uh, second 11 for Lake Erie. Will they get that? Oh, they got it. He's gonna. He really is going to chuck this away. 35-32, huh? All right. I've got to, um, I've got up for the screen now so I can watch that. Second and 11 is going to be a handoff. You will get two yards to Danny and Thompson on the carry. Third and 10 now. Third and 10 from the 43-yard uh, line. Joey back to pass. Going to fire, caught first down. That check down route's really having fits for Northwest Missouri State. Phillip Montgomery gets 18 more yards. First and 10, Lake Erie. I like Garrett Green running for a touchdown. Of course they do. Handoff, Danny and Tomlinson on a counter. He's going to find his way for five yards. Second and five, Northwest Missouri State really need to hold on to a field goal here to keep it a two-score game. Ooh, a pooch kick. They're not... Oh, I forgot they had a kickoff return. Oh, okay. All right, and yeah, second and five. Mayo in the backfield for uh, Lake Erie. He only gets a yard. Third and four now for the Storm. Bro, you're letting Garrett Green throw for 300 yards on you, bro. <laughs> Houston's defense is horrible if that's the case. Third and four from the twenty yard line. Man in motion is Thomason. It's gonna be a throw. It's the it's the wide receiver or it's the RPO and it actually works to get seven yards. It's the first time I've seen that work in either game. And it's first and ten for the storm. Hello, Zach. Hand off Thomason on the counter. Stops for a gain of nothing. Second and ten for Lake Erie.
<laughs> Houston's gonna choke this. <laughs> West Virginia called timeout. Man, a motion behind the quarterback. It's uh, I think it's Ian Otis. Joey's gonna throw it away. Oh no way! Offensive pass interference. Okay. He read to call roughing passer. <laughs> uh, Zach, it's, I think it's over, buddy. Northwest Missouri State's really not shown any ability to move the ball quickly at all. Hand off to Tomlinson. Breaks one, breaks two, breaks almost a third. Gets six yards, third and 14. Redcats playing back. Joey's back to pass. Looking, going to get sacked for seven yards to the 25, fourth and 21 for the Bearcats. Oh, Houston. That's got to be a flag. Okay. Well, West Virginia has lost the game all that. Kick is, uh, they're wasting some clock here. Kick is up. Kick is... Oh, it's good. And it's 16-0. Uh, with under three minutes to go. First and ten, handoff to Cooper. Gets a yard, second and nine for the Bearcats. Interesting play call when you need two scores and fast. Play action pass, Lake Erie, or, uh, oh, that's, oh, that should have been big. Tyree Roberts was there. And it's third and nine now for the Storm. Second, or a third and nine now. Two and a half minutes to go. Vince Young back to pass. Fires caught first down and more. To the 45, tackled the 49-yard line. Daniel Glover gets 18. Hand off to Cooper for two yards. Second and eight. Second and eight for Vince Young. Back to pass. Fire down the field. Caught out of bounds. And I think Quinn gets 14 yards. Vince Young, oh, fires, and it's jumps by River Adams, and it's second and ten for Northwest Missouri State. Second and ten. 
Eventually, I'm going to take off <laughs> right past the spy, and we'll get the first down of the 25-yard line. Second and ten, under two minutes to go. Play action pass. Blitz coming, fires, caught. First down of the ten, tackled at the six-yard line. Malik Anderson gets the first and goal for the Bearcats. And off to Cooper, trying to get the edge to the five. Breaks the tackle. Touchdown, Bearcats. It's not over. 16 to 6, our score, a minute 47 to go. And they have to go for two here. I saw, Mason, I saw the comment you deleted. <laughs> Why'd you delete it, Mason? <laughs> Why did you delete it? <laughs> two back set for Northwest Missouri State. Vince Young back to pass. Fires end zone. Two point conversions. Good law. Ramsey hangs on. And it's 16 to 8. Will they actually do the onside kick? I mean, yeah. What will they do? I s oh, they're going for the onside. Kick is away. It's down there. It's recovered by the Bearcats. Oh, my God. <laughs> A minute 47 to go. First and 10. North West Missouri State. <laughs> Hand off to Greg Cooper. Greg Cooper gets near midfield. Second and six. Minute 30 to go. Vince Young back to pass. Gonna just try to take off a run. Gets the first down, pass to the 40. Spins away to the 35. Inside the 35 from the 32 yard line. A minute 22 to go. Ramsey in motion. Vince Young back to pass. Going to take off and run again. To the 30. Tackled right there for a three-yard carry. Timeout. Bearcats. I'm not sure if I would have called that. I think I would have said, are they going? No, there's no way Houston's going for this, right? What the fuck are they doing? Okay. There's... I think it's, that's the first time. Is that the first onside kick that's been successful in this league? Hey, oh, that gets blown up. They're back to square one. Third and ten. A minute left to go. Two downs to get ten yards. Vince Young back to pass. Gonna run with it. Oh, this time he doesn't get the blocks. And he'll only get a yard, fourth and nine. Timeout in Northwest Missouri State. This is the game. Right here. Fourth and nine from the 33. Needing nine yards to keep their chances alive. 0 for 1 on the night. 50 seconds left to go. Three receivers left side. Vince Young, back to pass. Fires check down. It's incomplete. That'll do it. The comeback effort falls just short. <laughs> Will Lake Erie try? I, I assume they're just going to... Yeah, they're going to keep in it. All right, we're going to head to Lake Erie for the post-game interviews. 
Lake Erie uh, survived a late game scare. Uh, yeah. Coach John, thoughts on the night overall? Uh, we should have won by a lot more because, I mean, we were getting down to that goal line, but they, um, you know, we didn't have an answer for uh, what they had on defense. They have a solid defense. Um, you know, uh, they're a good team. They're going to scare some guys this year. Uh, obviously, La Ramsey decided, to, or Vince Young decided to turn into Vince Young in the final 30 seconds of the game for no reason, but even we can stop Vince Young. So, you know, um, no problem for us. Uh, yeah, we're not USC. Yeah, we're not USC. Um, and neither are we Miami, as you can clearly tell. Uh, so, yeah, no. Um, I mean, Joey Surreal had himself a game. Uh, really excited to, for the future of this team. So, uh, Coach Jar, you know, offense kind of stalled out in the second half. Yeah, what adjustments are you going to make going into game two? Uh, that's a good question. Probably light a fire under the O-line's ass because they let us sit down on a lot of plays. But it's okay. Uh, I know we don't have a special teams coordinator, but I'm pretty bricked up for the kicker. He really led us a lot of the way. So, yeah, that's all I got. I mean, you go back to the drawing board and figure out what works and go with it. Uh, and then, Reed, I have no idea if you're going to be here next week, but thoughts on the defense overall and what adjustments, if you are back next week, are you, you going to make? Um, Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, Jake's going to be here next week. I know that for a fact. So you guys will see his debut. Um, But, yeah, good good play from the defense. Kind of uh, that, last, that second to last drive was a little not – I wasn't happy about, but I think if we just – Fix a couple of our mistakes. We got it. All right. Well, I'm heading over to Northwest Missouri State. I'll see you next week. Congrats on the win. Thank you, guys. Coach Kernsey, Coach Caffey, comeback effort failed just short. Uh, but Kernsey, overall thoughts of the night? Uh, pretty simple. We got away from the running game too early. Uh, tried to, I guess, hope that Young was going to turn into something that he's not. And uh, clearly he's not it. Uh, that's the difference between scrambling quarterbacks in this league and pocket passing quarterbacks in this league. We saw that again tonight. Uh, it's a shame, but uh, it's the way it goes. Cappy, defense kept you in the game, uh, you know, as you made that comeback. Uh, any adjustments? Or are you going to keep it the same next week? Well, you know, obviously, first off, I want to let – let Gary know they played a great game. Um, they got the first dub in the Mean Green matchup between the two schools, so it's nice for for them to get their program getting kind of getting going here. And um, I would like to say that you know compared to last year, I feel a lot more better than instead of getting thrashed by Pars and company. So um, moving on the next week with Montana, I mean, film is up, so I'll get to take a look to see what kind of plays they ran. Uh, they almost came and come back with themselves for tonight with the crazy hail mary. Um, I think defense honestly played well. I thought we got in the backfield on some on the run game a lot. Um, and we all held them to 173 yards of total offense, which is astounding. Uh, but we didn't get many sacks. We only got two. Uh, we didn't get any interceptions, no forced fumbles. So we got to get the ball turnover game going for us and get the ball back to our offense. So, All right. Well, uh, we will see you next week. Uh, you know, yeah, we'll see you next week against Montana. All right. See you. Take care. All right, um, that's all we got for uh, tonight. Week one is over. Uh, next week, I don't even know who's starting off next week for us. Um, I guess I can pull it up real quick. Um, the Monday night game next week, I think, is uh, it's Lake Erie and Georgetown. So Coach John gets to face his former team on Monday nights at 830. Should be a fun one. Uh, yeah, that wraps it up for week one of RCL. Appreciate you all for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week.